friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an edited video of phaco vitrectomy the patient has vitreous hemorrhage this is the first step to put a trocar in the inferotemporal quadrant of the globe yes i have applied these 23g trocar about 3.5 mm from the ilimbus now i plug this trocar with a pin because i'm going to do fecal emulsification first after incisions rexis and hydrodissection the nucleus is divided into some parts by this divide and conquer technique and then using very low ultrasonic energy the fragments are emulsified and removed vacuum used in this case is 350 flow rate is 35 the machine being used is faros from otley so the fragments are emulsified and after emulsifying the fragments cortical clean up is done which i have not shown then i do conjunctival peritomy and then these two sclerotomies one at 11 o'clock and the other one at on a clock so these two sclerotomies are done with a 23g mbr knife then i do core vitrectomy with this 23 gauze vitrectomy cutter and then i apply this molecule this is triamcinolone acetate and then i try to do try to induce pvd unless we induct induce pvd we cannot do complete vitrectomy and here it is the pvd is induced yes at this moment pvd is induced and then complete vitrectomy becomes possible i am using an irrigating contact lens with this viewing system it is not possible to see the periphery well so we have to depress the sclera with cotton tipped junction bard and do nice peripheral vitrectomy but still this is this viewing system is not recommended for complete vitrectomy i am going to get a biome in a short time so after a nice vitrectomy with this cutter I removed the irrigating contact lens asked my assistant to press the sclera to press the sclera with cotton tip junction bard and did vitrectomy then i apply I implanted this lens this is a single piece hydrophilic intraocular lens which i am placing in the sulcus because during vitrectomy the posterior capsule got the posterior capsule ruptured and i had to remove the posterior capsule and this is the trailing haptic being placed in the sulcus the leading haptic is over the iris it is brought at 12 o'clock 
the leading ha the trailing haptic is now at six o'clock and the leading haptic is at twelve thirty and the trailing uh, leading haptic now is placed into the sulcus hydrophilic single piece lenses are well tolerated in the sulcus and it doesn't cause any problem but hydrophobic single piece lenses are not recommended for implantation in the sulcus and now I close the sclerotomies and then remove the irrigating trocker at infrarotemporal quadrant. I massage the area and find that there is no leak. If there were leak then there would have been ballooning of conjunctiva. Now I oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus by this releasable suture with 10 O nylon. This is a edited video. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to learn vitrectomy.